Everything I did in my path as a U player was everything to become a football player. There were difficult decisions. For me, they seemed easy at the time, but if you look back at the decision that I made, it's not what everybody would do in their life. Well, I, mo I moved away uh, from my parents when I was 14. First year I was in that big school where you sleep overnight with uh, every people and then luckily the second year I went to foster parents. I'm very good being on myself, I'm that shy, shy person and again. And after I thought everything went alright, in the end of the year I'm fine, people never had to go to school for problems, discipline, I'm fine. The year is over. I say goodbye to the to the foster parents, not knowing what, what goes on. And then um, I come home and my parents were like sad, crying. And I'm like, what's wrong? Uh, the, the foster parents don't want you to come back anymore. I'm like, why? Because of who you are. I'm like, of what? Yeah, you're difficult to handle, you're very quiet. The kids who are there, it's very difficult to interact. Uh, they just find you difficult. As a 16 year old, 15 year old, you're like, yeah, it's not nice to hear because in the end, a lot of time in the beginning of my career, I've been given the word like I'm a difficult person. But in the end, I'm just a quiet person, shy person. And that's been given to me as difficult. So in the end, you're like, mm. uh, I was going to my l last year of school. So turning 17. And I was going to the second team of gang. And I said to my parents, in two, two months time, I will be in the first team. And after one month of preparation, I'm in the first team. Then it, then it all changed. Conversation, I think, beginning of the, the season, somewhere in August, with the mother. The mother came there because obviously she had the other people coming there. And she started to explain, yeah, but we wanted you to go to the, the boarding school and then in the weekend you can come. And I'm, I'm a 17 year old kid and I'm already a month there, but starting to go to the first team. And I just said at that time, I'm like, you don't want me, I don't care. I don't care about you guys anymore. You know, I was nice to you. You didn't have the decency to say it. I'm 17 years old, I will say it to your face, I don't like you anymore. At a boarding school, you have these rules. You go to dinner, six, maybe seven. You have to study from seven to eight, then your free time. And then I think we had to be, depends what year you are, what age, you have to be in bed by or in the room by nine. I come from training like 9.30. Still have to eat, still have to study. Everybody's already in the room because they have to. So I didn't see anybody. I went to school, went to football, then had the things that I need. So they left me a little tray with food. Sometimes it's difficult because just whatever. <laughs> it's just, you know, at the time you're not thinking about it, but it's like, yeah. You're living in a lonely world. It's very sad but because it didn't feel like this, but yeah, everything you did was to play football and that was your decision. And I would say the first two years in, in Genk were probably the loneliest years I will ever, will ever have because on the one side I lost everybody and on the other side I'm trying to build something. And yeah, then, then you see why football is there and why you made a choice because you're always thinking in the end if I'm not making it what is what is it worth because if I'm not making it to football I lost everything and luckily for me that the determination of saying like I'm going to be in the first team in this year in these two months changed my whole yeah changed my whole career for, for the good and 
then I went to Chelsea, didn't, didn't play, so go down. Then City came and then after a few years playing in City and playing regularly and starting to challenge and then you're like, okay, people notice me now, I'm getting mentioned like being top 30, getting nominated for Ballon d'Or and all that type of stuff and you are like, okay, you're now in a bracket where people talk about you constantly and look at you get at, look at every game what you play in a good way or bad way and then it's the moment like okay um at that point i'm everywhere i've got my my family i've got kids i've got more than i ever need and it's like if you think about it it's mostly like not during the season in the summer like okay this is what we signed up for to be fair. <laughs> I came into City as a Chelsea reject. <laughs> people wouldn't pay for me to, to watch me and all that stuff. That's what people really said. I can proudly say for myself that I've been amongst the top players in the world in the last, especially in the last two years. I think if I can be, be honest and it's not being arrogant, but I think I've done really well for myself and I helped my team achieve things that never been done before, especially not in the Premier League. It's not about winning all the time or playing. For me, it's sometimes it's just about, I want to play every game. I want to show that I'm physically, physically all right and that I'm fine. And I just want to play every game and push, push, push and help the team. And there's nothing better than to play a game and help the team achieve what they want to achieve.